So I'm going to show and tell what Ruvi is. Ruvi is a Bluetooth sensor beacon. It measures temperature, um, humidity, air pressure and acceleration. So we have a bunch of these installed around the office. So here we go. One over here and one in the freezer. We mark them with those streamer stickers because they throw everything out of the fridge every week and I don't want these to get thrown out. One use case for having this kind of sensors is of course cold chain monitoring. We place this kind of sensor, for example, in a, in a container that's being used to transport food or whatever that needs to remain cold. We're going to the meeting room. I hid one sensor over here uh, in the guard robe. So if this meeting room is full of people, you can see the temperature and the humidity going up. We actually have to pay to use this meeting room. So this could be automatic in a smart contract and on the blockchain. Uh, now we're going to our uh, one of our office rooms. Let's trace the path of the data, uh, how it goes to Streamer. And we can also take a look at what it looks like within Streamer. So this is the beacon. It communicates over BLE, which is Bluetooth Low Energy. We have a Raspberry Pi here, which has a um, BLE radio as well. So this thing sends messages like every second or so and the Raspberry Pi picks it up. So I'm gonna start my little script here. So I found the tags and we can see the data being logged over here and sent over to Streamer. Uh, using the acceleration sensor it also detects its orientation. So we can see that if I turn the sensor the value sent to the Streamer platform change. Make a real mess there by switching. Oh, let's produce some acceleration. And we have the charts going wild uh, after that. Here we have data from a couple of other Ruby tags which are not here, they're in Helsinki. There's one on top of a coffee machine which has this grinder, right? So uh, this device can measure acceleration. Now, when the coffee machine is used, the grinder makes the machine vibrate enough for that data to be visible on the acceleration sensor. So basically we can... Look, there it is. Somebody just made coffee in Helsinki. Look at that. So the acceleration data is mainly flat when the machine is not being used. And when it's being used, there's vibration on the machine. Now this could be useful for example to connect some previously unconnected devices like the coffee machine of course but also at factories where you have legacy, legacy machines which are not connected to anywhere and it would be useful to know when they are running and when they are not running, right? So something like this uh, can be used to easily accomplish that just by attaching this to the device. If it vibrates, it's on. If it doesn't vibrate, it's off. They're so small and so simple that the use cases are, are quite broad and depends on the domain and what the, what the problem is uh, to be solved. They're kind of like a Swiss army knife, you know. It has, it has what it has and it can be applied to do many different things. And Streamer makes it easier to do so.